What's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon once again. Earthmaster here jumping in uh, on the live stream uh, real quick with a quick update video on a earthquake coming in here within the past 10 minutes or so at uh, a super volcano there in North Island, New Zealand. A 5.1 coming into the area, uh, like I said, within the last oh, 10, 15 minutes or so. You can see it right there on the map from the USGS. Now this earthquake... Looks like it's, uh, well, it's off of the view now, but a few minutes ago we could see the large signature from that 5.1 earthquake uh, there at the North Island, New Zealand. 104 kilometers deep for this earthquake, and if you zoom in to the location here, it looks like it's right around the Lake Taupo Super Volcano in the North Island area. Now, I did pull up historical data here. Over the last year, uh, there was a 5.3 back in November. Uh, roughly within this area but this was a much shallower earthquake activity there with that 5.3 uh, and then we've seen some fours and some threes as well uh, did have a 4.7 back in august or uh, october i should say a little bit of ways away from the lake Taupo super volcano but uh, if you remember right around uh, when was it december or so around december so that was probably right after this uh this earthquake 5.3 we had a pretty intense earthquake swarm here across the area of that super volcano and it's been periodically swarming on occasion uh, so it might be uh, something to keep an eye on although this earthquake is way down there and it looks like they've actually updated this uh, magnitude here to a 5.3 originally coming in as a 5.1 but this has definitely been updated and upgraded uh, although no this is from no this is back from uh see i'm getting a little carried away here <laughs> i'm looking at the wrong one uh that was back in uh yeah november so there we go <laughs> starting to scare myself i was like oh man what's going on here so 5.1 is the newest one yeah this was the one back in uh november of last year but like like i said i believe that's when that swarm kicked up so we'll have to watch and see how this uh, see how this one plays out. Uh, it has been reviewed by a seismologist, not a 5.3, but 5.1 originally as it came in. 104 kilometers deep. Historical data does show quite a bit of activity out here, but uh, as I mentioned, we did see um, a swarm kick up uh, following that uh, five pointer 5.3 back in November. Now the volcano drums out here picked up this earthquake rather nicely. Uh, and it is centered right around the Taupo Super Volcano, so that will show up uh, most likely the strongest in this area. There's a signature of it right there, but because of the depth, uh, say if this was a little bit more shallower, we'd notice that signature more prominent across the stations. But as it is, even at 108 kilometers deep, it did show up quite nicely uh, across the volcanic drums there in New Zealand. And the earthquake drums, no doubt, will definitely pick up that signature. And if you look at all these on a uh, you know grand scheme of things, it showed up nicely across all of these. Here's the um, seismograph stations there and various locations across the area of New Zealand. Of course, around the Taupo supervolcano or within the vicinity of it is going to be the most um, prominent looking signature. I'm not seeing any uh, earthquake swarming kicking up yet following this earthquake, but uh, it is kind of a developing deal. We'll continue to watch it and report on it if anything changes as um, far as any uptick and swarming goes we'll report back on that uh, it has been uh, relatively quiet in terms of larger movement out here around new zealand uh, now on the earthquake 3d globe here i did remove some of the smaller quakes so that we can see what's going on around new zealand um this looks a little choppy i have to figure out why but um yeah so it's only, uh, this is supposed to only show 4.5 and above. Uh, but then again, the EMSC models may report some smaller quakes in that region. But uh, I didn't want to overdo it with so many ones and twos. Uh, so we'll go ahead and keep it as is. But uh, yeah, definitely something to watch out here. 5.1 New Zealand. Now again, now even though it is directly underneath the Lake Taupo super volcano, it's deep, 104 kilometers deep. And I think we do know uh, what lurks out here is the Hikarangi subduction zone. Uh, now it may just be coincidence that it happened to be deep 
and then looks like it's you know centered around the super volcano area again we'll have to watch see if it does anything to that volcano or not we'll provide further updates as they become available west coast activity kicking up as well it looks like a little bit of uh, movement there into the california area one earthquake right on the san andreas fault 2.3 just outside of san uh, san francisco 5.2 kilometers it's been relatively active uh, in terms of microquake activity out here today in the west coast so uh, we'll just we'll continue to watch it and see how this plays out for now we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on tonight folks have a good one